Hi, welcome. Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on an electronics laptop. Let me show you the model number. If you turn it around, take a look at the model. It's MX17 Electronics. That is the brand of the laptop. And I'll be doing a teardown. And in this teardown, you get to learn on how to add additional RAM, or maybe additional hard drive, changing out the battery, maybe changing out the fan, things like that. All right. So here is the Phillips screwdriver. This is the PH1. You have to remove all the screws and remove the back cover to get into the laptop. All the screws are the same, so it is okay for you to mix match the screws. Once all the screws is removed, the next thing is to pry open the back cover. Mm. I like to work at the corner here, it's a lot easier to, uh, to get right in it. Here you can see the entire internal part of the laptop. I uh, just wanted to let you know there were two M.2 drive here. I removed two of them. So this is the M.2, M.2 SSD drive. So you can have the first one on the first slot. Make sure you remove the screw when you mount the M.2 drive and you can have the secondary so you can have two hard drive in the laptop here is the DDR4 RAM slot so there are two slots I removed the two of the RAM but if you want to install them this is the PC4 stands for DDR4 what you want to do is make sure you have the gap line up with the slot slide it in at 45 degree angle and push it in the two side clipper would clip and lock onto your ram all right so let's go ahead and disconnect the battery by simply sliding it down to your body Once you remove the three screws, now you can go ahead and disconnect the entire battery. If you're not sure what model to look for, go ahead and type it out this model here. That's probably the replacement battery for this model. Once you have disconnected the battery, let's work on the next thing would be the CMOS battery. Here is the CMOS, I have the extension cable running through it you have to just slide the connector to your right that's how you remove it this is the Wi-Fi for your uh, wireless connection the gray cable is on the left lift it up and then the one on the right is black and you can just lift it straight up here's a speaker connector slide it down towards your body that's how you disconnect it. This is the LCD connector. So the connector is like Lego to snap onto. To remove, you just lift it straight up. CPU fan, slide to your left. right CPU fan you can slide it to your right all right let's go ahead and start removing them there are three screws on the left CPU fan 
I don't think it comes off it got to come out together with the heat sink that's what it looks like to me Make sure you gotta peel back on that tape right here. You can expose that one screw. So that goes the entire heatsink with the CPU fan in it. To me, it looks like this is the li liquid thermal paste. It is not the regular. Oh, I do see a burn mark right there. Okay, so there is a burn mark on the motherboard. As you can see, it's right there. One of the chipset that was covered by the thermal pad is burned out here. So anyway this one right here is the the liquid version of the thermal paste uh, they use that on the um, with the uh, bracket right here that's covering up so the liquid does not spill and that is the thermal paste and here is the thermal pads and the, there's a burn mark on the motherboard that's the reason why I'm taking it apart to kind of further diagnose what might be going on here okay so that would be that and I don't think I need to re remove the motherboard there's nothing much to remove the motherboard as you can see um, you just need to have one screw here one two three four five six six screws I think you can remove the motherboard okay and re regardless about the keyboard it is non replaceable in my opinion because this metal bracket here is all part of the same with the laptop so in order for you to replace the keyboard you would have to replace the whole thing uh, but what you can do is remove the hinge remove the screws here the left hinge and the, the, the left hinge and the right hinge and you can just replace the whole thing all right that would be the the entire part of the uh, the laptop interesting the motherboard is burned out okay um, I think that should be it I'm gonna put it all back together we found a problem the motherboard is there's a burn mark on the motherboard there uh, more likely we need a motherboard replacement and um, and that should be it all right thanks for watching if you're not sure uh, where to buy the tools and the replacement part or the upgrade part example the m.2 or the ddr4 ram i'll link them down in the description below 
uh, it will direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find those replacement parts. Okay, thanks for watching. Please do not forget to smash the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.